I'm gonna be doing Alex Earl's makeup routine. Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. I am sure a lot of you guys already know who Alex Earl is, but if you do not know, she is a TikToker. She's really just like changed the TikTok beauty community, like how people do videos and stuff. She's like mainly known for her get ready with me. 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 You know, everyone just loves her. I love her. And I really hope she doesn't get canceled or something because Every single time I say I love someone on the internet, you know, they get canceled and then people are like, oh my god, I can't believe you like them. Everyone's obsessed with her makeup routine. She does very specific things that everyone started trying and everyone was like freaking out about how amazing it was. In most of her videos, she has like those beach waves. I'm gonna touch up my hair with curling iron and fix that. I've always been like someone who does their hair before their makeup. It's very weird to do my hair after my makeup. And I see people do that all the time and I don't understand how people do that. Alex Earl has definitely influenced me me to do more get ready with me's. I love get ready with me's. I have been watching get ready with me since like 2015. There's just something so calming about them and it kind of feels like you're just like hanging out with a friend. For someone who doesn't have a lot of friends, it's pretty nice. I've gotten beach waves down. Like whenever you go and get your hair done, they do like those beach waves and I can do this in like five minutes. my hair curled. I'm just gonna pin back the sides. She doesn't really have flat out full makeup routine that I could find or she does and I just like am dumb. Pretty much every single video she's doing a get ready with me and you can kind of see the product she's using. Most of the time she starts out with taking the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream and she puts that on the back of her hand and then the drunk elephant bronzing drops. Yeah, I wanted to film this video a month ago, but I couldn't because these are sold out and they've been sold out pretty much ever since, but I finally got my hands on them. This is the first impressions of a lot of stuff too because I have so much makeup over here that is for this video. She mixes it with her moisturizer. I've heard really good things about these, so I'm scared because I want them to be good. Oh, that's really dark. Okay, it rubs in. I'm out of breath and I don't even know why. I definitely see myself using these bronzing drops in the summer because my face, no matter what, is way more pale than my body when I'm like just out in the sun more. Okay, Miss Girl kind of has like a lot of routines. I went through her like Amazon storefront and stuff to see what she uses and like compared to the videos. She uses the Tom Ford foundation a lot, but she also uses the Giorgio Armani and I already have the Giorgio Armani one, so we're gonna use the Giorgio Armani because I don't really want to buy a new foundation because I never wear foundation. She always goes in with like a big fluffy brush, so that's what we're gonna do. She doesn't go like super duper heavy with it. I feel like she goes more in with concealer. But we're just gonna add like thin layer of this. And I already said, I like the Jargy. Jargy? Yep. I like the Giorgio Armani foundation. It is like really, really pricey, but I've also heard a lot of people say it has like pretty good ingredients in it if you have acne prone skin, <laughs> which I do. So we have like a thin layer. I'm gonna cover up like pimples and stuff with concealer. She uses the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer quite a bit. Oh my God, so much is coming out. The applicator on these things, it's like a love-hate relationship with the applicator on this thing because to use it every single time, I need like a napkin. But I'm gonna be putting it in the same places that she puts it. Okay, so she puts it on her cheeks her forehead, her nose, and like her chin right here. She goes back and forth between using a brush and a beauty blender, so I'm gonna use a beauty blender because <laughs> I feel like that works the best with this to kind of control where it's going. Whenever I put bronzer like on my jawline or anywhere near here, I just feel like I look like I have a beard. She kind of just like does it all over her nose. I think she more contours it when she does concealer. Okay, I feel like the concealer is gonna help clean this up. Her skin's looking real clear now, but I do remember she used to have like quite a bit of acne like a few months back. And I just looked at videos to see how she would like cover it. And honestly, I think it just covered mostly by foundation. She didn't like spot conceal in the videos. I am just gonna spot conceal really quick. A few spots that I have so that in the end result, you don't see them. And then I'm going in with the RMS 
Beauty Concealer. I just bought these because they have cleaner ingredients. I've been using them for like a few days and they haven't been like making my acne freak out anymore. And I bought them specifically for like acne spots. And I gotta say, I really freaking like this concealer. It's like the perfect coverage. I haven't used an NARS concealer in so freaking long. And I stopped using it because it like started drying out my skin a lot. She uses the NARS concealer and the Tarte concealer a lot and I have the NARS concealer, so that is what we're going to use. And I think I'm gonna use a lighter shade because what we're doing right now is brightening and I wanna give my face more dimension and I'm gonna be putting in all the places that she puts it. She puts it right there, puts it under her eyes, on the sides of her nose, under her cheekbones, right here, and on her chin. Now we gotta blend. Okay, the dimension is here. The bronzer is like looking a little crazy. I know I have a Rare Beauty blush, and she uses Rare Beauty blush all the time, but I can't find it and I'm pissed because I actually really like that blush. But the color she goes in with is actually very similar to this, and I just bought this, and I've only used it once, so we're gonna use it. Charlotte Tilbury just came out with matte blush wands, and holy crap, it's really good, so we're gonna use it. So she puts it right here, and she blends it in with a bl I cannot talk today. She blends it in with a brush. This girl's cheekbones are like gorgeous oh my god i have an itch <laughs> oh my god so itchy okay this blush is so much better than the original charlotte tilbury one to me i personally don't like shimmer in my blushes because uh, i'm a girl that has acne and i don't really want to highlight this like whole entire area where i usually have texture or pimples right when i saw that they had matte i bought all three of them these are the other two colors but honestly i feel like this color will probably be my favorite at this point she bakes she always uses these little powder puffs little triangle things and i got them from amazon i've already used it it's amazing i don't know how i didn't survive with one of these i have like the laura mercier velour powder puff thing but this one's amazing for like getting those straight lines when you're baking she has a laura mercier powder on her amazon okay uncreasing because bro i crease so fast it's not even funny she like slices right here on her nose like, whenever i see her do it she like rubs like this i always dab but i've seen like so many people like rub i don't know if there's a difference but we're gonna we have to do her way so <laughs> The way I like stalked this girl's entire account, like when you think about it, that's so weird. But like every single one of her makeup routines is like, there's always like something a little bit different. So it was like hard. I think I checked her YouTube and I don't really think she makes YouTube videos, but man, girl needs to hop on that because she'd do good on there. This is my favorite time in the makeup routine when you have like all the powder on and stuff. I don't know what it is. Ever since baking became a thing, I love this. This is. Like, I feel like I look hot right now. This is when she usually goes in with eyebrow. Sometimes she does eyebrow pencil, sometimes she just does clear brow gel, but we're gonna do eyebrow pencil. A lot of times she goes in with the Benefit. Since I've had like a thousand hair colors, this is not my hair color and this is like blondish. So this is my Auburn color. So we're just gonna use the Anastasia one. And nothing crazy, just kind of defining our shape a little bit. I have very much been contemplating on cutting like the ends of my eyebrows off like this part down here and I've had that done a long time ago and it does look good but it just makes my eyebrows look so much smaller and I kind of really love the look of bigger eyebrows. I really told myself to never like fall into eyebrow trends again because eyebrow trends come and go so fast. So I told myself to just grow in my natural brows, leave them as is, never pluck again. And I haven't for probably like a year now. It's a super big trend right now, again, to have thin brows. Personally, it does not look good on me. I'm just gonna say this. If 
if you've been thinking about it, just remember if you start plucking, there's a good chance that they're not gonna grow back. I told my mom that that's like a trend again. And my mom had me at 16. So she was like in high school and stuff in the 90s. And you know, it was only thin brows. So she just plucked them all off. Guess what? They never grew back. Just remember that it might stay that way. Like there's a good chance that your hair is like not gonna grow back. I think that's good for the brows. You know, they're more defined. They don't like disappear into my face now. I'm pretty sure she uses the Patrick Ta clear eyebrow gel. I did not buy that because the Benefit 24 hour eyebrow gel, I mean, any clear eyebrow gel is gonna do. I'm not gonna go out of my way and buy another one. This 24 hour one is like my favorite thing ever. For the longest time, I couldn't find a freaking eyebrow gel that I liked. I am really liking this so far. This is looking really good. Like this might be my new favorite makeup routine out of the people that like I've recreated makeup routines. She goes in with a Benefit highlighter and I don't have that. So I'm honestly just going to be going in with this like gold Dior one. Because honestly, I feel like a lot of gold highlighters look the same. And she goes under her eyebrows a lot too. But in the videos I just watched, I couldn't find a video of her putting it right there. So I don't know if she puts it there or not. Okay, nose is looking amazing. Okay, I want to give myself a little bit more dimension and she does go in a lot with bronzer on like a fluffy brush and adds more color. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury one. Put a little bit of bronzer in my lids. This is the only thing I've ever seen her do in her videos. This is like the part I'm most excited for. That is the mascara routine because her eyelashes always look amazing. You guys know I don't really like mascara, but she actually has like an entire routine for this. So before we watch it, she does have eyeliner on her bottom lash and it is a white. So starting off with the eyelash curler, this is a Tweezerman one, so you want it to not touch like that. Tweezerman is like the best eyelash curler ever. They're the most like long lasting. You have to get it all the way up there, like the start of the lash. And you have to curl it like almost where it pinched. Like, it actually hurts. Like it, it's not comfortable feeling. Press like a few times for like 30 seconds. She actually curls her lashes how I do that. You like really want to make sure you get it base, but I am going to make sure that they're straight. This is like one of my little tips. I don't know what it is. But, like I can't watch other people curl their eyelashes. Eye stuff like weirds me out. I can like do it to myself in the mirror, but like if I watch someone else, it like makes me cringe. I don't like eyeball stuff. So curled and not curled. So I start off with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara and I just keep going until I like the way that they look. <laughs> Once it's all on there, I go in with the Benefit Roller Lash. This does a really good job at like lengthening them and just separating them into the right place. I made sure to get the same exact mascaras because I feel like that like really matters. Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I used to be obsessed with Better Than Sex Mascara, but not the waterproof one, but their normal one in high school because I like dry mascaras. One thing I found is that man it flakes she kind of like pulls her lashes into i feel like that's to give it more of a lift hot girls get mascara on their lid i am not mad at that at all and this one has like more of a comb Okay, I need to clean my eyes. Okay, yeah, mascara routine is a win. Girl knows what she's doing. And they have like not fallen, like they're staying and that's like really rare for me. Ooh, okay. That like really brought together the look. I've seen a bunch, but I'm gonna be going with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is Savage Rose. I'm gonna overline just a little bit, but not so it looks like crazy. I'm not going in with the Tarte Juicy Lip Maracuja, I don't know. These are amazing. And I know it's gonna bring it together. Pretty darn good for my small lips. Okay, wait, that's like pretty. Okay, the gloss pulled it together. I love how this turned out. Alex all knows what she's doing. See ya. Bye.